Hi there and welcome back. Um, what we're going to do today is just go through the um, auto tune function in clean flight. So I'm just going to hook this guy up, switch that controller on. So a few things we need to do um, before we, we do the auto tune is just to uh, set up the switches. So, so you can probably see that a little bit better now. So when my um, three way switch is off, um, nothing's activated. When it's in the middle position, I have horizon mode only activated. And when it's in the down position, I have horizon mode and auto tune activated. So the way you're supposed to get auto tune working, uh, you switch over to horizon mode, fly it around, make sure it's perfectly level. So do any adjustments. Um, when you're ready to go, flick into auto tune mode and it'll start sort of shaking violently left and right. Now once you hear the beep, you switch back to level mode and that saves the settings. Um, get the copter ready again, switch back to auto tune and it'll start um, going up and down in the pitch and it'll set the pitch. So once you hear the beeping, switch back to horizon mode, land. Now if you switch back to horizon mode again without disarming, it will wipe those settings for auto tune. Um, if you do want to save the settings, um, obviously you want to uh, turn your disarm the motors and then switch to auto tune and switch back off and, and it will save the settings, it will start beeping and all that sort of stuff just to let you know. So uh, look, the reason a lot of people have used auto tune um, basically saves you stuffing around with all your PID settings. I'll just, uh, so I mean the issue I've got actually is, uh, is I get a bit of a pitch up. So if I do like a really fast forward maneuver and just let go of the sticks, it'll just pitch up on its own. That's in acro mode. It shouldn't be doing that. Uh, a lot of people have uh, solved that by doing auto tune. Um, or you can just stuff around with your PIDs. So I'll just show you what PIDs I have at the moment. Um, we'll go for a quick fly and then I can show you what PIDs we get after the auto tune. So for the roll, I've got 3.3 and 0.03 on the I, 23 on the derivative. Pitch is 3.3, 30, 23. Yours, 8.1, 40, 0. to disarm and I'm going to put it back in auto tune. Now theoretically the settings should have been saved now so let's just give it a quick fly. Pull up intentionally. There you go. It didn't pull up. Just leveled out. Cool. Look at that. It's just flying like a bit of a dream there. There we go. 
I think the auto tune worked. Okay, we'll disable the motors and let's take it home and plug it in. Um, just go to the PID settings now and whoa, that is unbelievable. Um, look, to be honest, uh, it's not a huge difference, but I will, um, I'll zoom up on that for you. Because the, the actual settings are so, so close to what they were before, yet it flies completely differently. I mean, the, the odds of you actually landing on those settings without doing the auto-tune is like a million to one. So I recommend, highly recommend you do the auto-tune. It's, it's a little bit scary, but um, you know, once, once you get it, I mean, it's, it's worth it. Um, so the other thing saying that as well is I can't just say use these settings and you, it'll be right for your model because it's going to be different depending on, on a whole lot of factors, um, including your, your frame. Uh, geometry as well. So, anyway, good luck. Um, look, uh, give Auto Tune a try. If you crash your, your copter, it's not my fault. I didn't invent it, but um, but look, it, it worked for me. So, um, so I'd recommend it.